Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Dental Segmentator extension in 3D Slicer 5.7. It's an extension that segments automatically with the press of one button and it segments the maxilla, mandible, teeth, and nerve separately in separate segments. As you can see here, I can hide the teeth and even I can hide the mandible and all of them are separate segments from each other. So the first thing we have to do is to install the appropriate version so you can see the dental segmentator inside the 3D slicer. So here as you can see the, the link for the 3D slicer, slicer.org and then we are going to press on download button and then we, we are going to have to release the stable and the preview. We are not going to, uh, to install the stable, the dental segmentator is available only in 5.7. So all you have to do is to download the preview release 5.7 and download and install and then we are going back to 3D Slicer. For Blender for Dental users, we are going to use a specific version of 5.7 uh, 3D Slicer. So all you have to do is to go to your account at the Blender for Dental website and then after you have purchased the guide designer, you are going to press on video tutorials. And then go down a little bit and you will see here the links for the 3D slicer. Here's the uh, for the PC version and here's for Mac version. So at December 2024, there has been update to ACVL utilities, which made the dental segmentator doesn't work correctly. So after uh, posting the issue at the GitHub page of the dental segmentator, I have to thank Dr. Gother Dot. Uh, sorry for the mispronunciation. And he said that the problem was from the update of the ACVL utilities and that we are going to use uh, this code to uh, install the appropriate version of the dependencies that we need so that the dental segmentator can work correctly. I'm going to type this code in the video description below so you can copy it easily or you can take a screenshot of this image. So now after installing the 3D slicer 5.7 to install any extension including the dental segmentator all we have to do is to go to the view extension manager press on install extensions and then here type in the search bar dental now you will see this uh, dental segmented extension all you have to do is just to press install and then restart after it has installed all the dependencies as you can see here now that it has finished installing all the dependencies, press on restart and then continue as follows. So here we are after we have restarted the program. First, before going to data segmentator, we have to install the PyTorch utilities. And how to do that is to go to this search icon and then type PyTorch and then select the PyTorch and then switch to module. And then as you can see here, the NVIDIA driver and the torch is not installed. So now we, we are going to install one of the main dependencies of the dental segmentator and it will install the appropriate version for your graphics card and for your system. So all you have to do is just to install, uh, press on the PyTorch. And then it will take a while to install the PyTorch and the compatible version with your NVIDIA driver. Because if you don't know, that the dental segmentator is optimized to work with NVIDIA graphics card. So that's why we have to install the PyTorch and it will automatically choose the, the compatible version with your graphics card. Uh, it's going to take a while and then I'm going just to pause the video until I will show you that it has installed here with all the drivers and dependencies has been installed. Now the PyTorch has uh, finished installing the dependencies and the correct version for your computer. And how I know this because uh, as you can see here, uh, the Torch has been installed, Torch version installed, and then the NVIDIA driver has been installed to be compatible with your version of your driver and your graphics card. Okay, so now we are going to restart the program again by pressing on this icon. And last step before going to the dental segmentator is to use the code which will ensure the appropriate dependencies it's installed for the dental segmentator as Dr. Gauthier has told us. How to do that? We are going to press on this icon or if you don't have this icon, we are going to the view and then press on Python console. 
And now we are going to paste the code that the doctor has told us to do. I will add this code to the video description and also as an overlay over this video. So once you have pasted here by control V, just press uh, enter and now you'll see it will install the appropriate dependencies so that dental segmentator can work. It will also take a while, so just wait for it until there is no uh, any movement in the code and it will show you uh, now it has finished all the the dependencies that it needed so now for for safety well, I'm going to close the program and open it again so now after closing and opening the program again I'm going to import any daikon that I have so we are going to press on this icon if you don't have any daikon files here previously you can press on import daikon files and then you choose the icon file and it will be imported here in the patient list so i'm going to choose this patient and i'm going to choose this slice i have now double clicked on it so it will open the the radiograph it will take a while according to the size of the uh, radiograph and now the 3d slicer has opened our radiograph now we are going to go to the dental segmentator the easier way to go there is to press on this search icon and then type dental as you can see here click on it and then click on switch to module and then all you have to do is just to press on apply this message will only appear when uh, first in first time installation but then after that it will not show this uh, message again so now we're going to press yes to proceed and then it will also take a while because it will uh, install another dependencies other than the pytorch and the uh, the code that we have typed before so just uh, wait for a while until it install other dependencies and it will also uh, install the model weights which is the trained models that the data segmentator is going to use so now we are just just going to wait for it until it install everything and then it will automatically uh, segment this case uh, with the using of the trained model as you can see here it has finished installing all the dependencies and now it's going to download the trained uh, models or the model weights and then after that you will see that uh, uh, the, the dental segmentator will start segmenting this radiograph And now it has in, uh, finished installing uh, or downloading the model weights and now it will begin segmenting this radiograph. When you see this mes message it means everything is working correctly and then it will segment uh, this radiograph. And now it has big it's uh, it's doing the segmentation as you can see here. Of course, the speed of the segmentation will depend on many factors. One of them is the how powerful your NVIDIA graphics card is and how dense the radiograph is. So uh, your uh, mileage may vary with the, with the numbers here, uh, how many items per second, but now it's working normally as it should be. And now it's just finishing and cleaning all the scatter and everything uh, excess in the radiograph. And now as you can see here, it has finished the uh, segmentation. Now it has segmented uh, the, the skull and the mandible separately and also the teeth. And it also uh, segments the socket inside the teeth. So you can have the holes inside the maxilla and mandible. Where the, where the teeth were have been and now the dental segmentator has finished the segmentation and that concludes the end of this video i hope you like this video and thank you for watching and you can see my other videos by clicking on the video cards that are available now